What's up everybody welcome back to exotic astrology again and today we will discuss on water let's have some water where is my glass <laughs> today's topic is jala tatva the watery planets what is water and who are the planets which carry water in them and why is water very important and why is it dangerous also sometimes does it have the power to heal us or to destroy us we will see that today if you are new to the channel and you have still not subscribed well then i must tell you you better subscribe <laughs> and if you want a personal consultation from me then please reach me in my website vedic renaissance the link to which is there below this mic setting is becoming a bit difficult <laughs> beautiful microphone all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there with you when we are talking with venus and moon also because moon and venus are the watery planets so therefore this is another tatva we discussed about agni tatva agni tatva is fire initiation purity starting new things and dominating things power rebellion uh, that authority that is agni 10th house now we discuss about vayu also vayu is saturn and rahu air desires 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 and desires now we come to watery planets now what is water water represents emotions water represents comfort water represents slowing down water represents where you feel nourished where you feel happy basically water is happiness basically and that is why watery signs and watery planets are very very deep do you understand the meaning deep means anything which happens there takes a long time to leave therefore when you get attached to people especially if it is venus when you get attached to relationships then uh, the opposite sex then it becomes very 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 difficult to let go of the person see you think of the watery planets like a cup of water all right so then what happens suppose i put a drop of ink there then what will happen immediately it will spread to the whole glass that means whenever something is put in water it will always expand water has the trait of accommodating which fire doesn't have <laughs> water sustains you it nourishes you internally therefore if you take the example of moon moon represents the mother so therefore children are generally more close to their mother generally now some of you will write in the comments no 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 you are so wrong i am close to my father well you may write that <laughs> but i am giving a general response here yes sometimes it is seen that the boys are more close to their mothers and the girls are more close to their fathers but still i have seen <laughs> most of the people either you are a male or a female i have seen they are more attached to their mothers why that is because father represents fire moon is the significator of mother so then what happens is you find more happiness with with your mother rather than sitting with your father that's the reason see i will tell you the difference sukha comes from the mother sukha means happiness where you feel at home that is why whenever you go home well i have not been going home from last one year almost i will go very soon god willing what i am saying is 
द मोमेंट यू गो होम यू विल ऑलवेज सर्च फॉर योर मदर आई आई ऑलवेज हैव दिस फीलिंग द मोमेंट आई गो होम इफ आई फील दैट माई मदर इज नॉट देर और सपोज शी हेज गॉन आउट टू द मार्केट और टू ईट समथिंग और टू मीट समबडी और टू डू सम शॉपिंग I always feel there is something missing in my home. There's something wrong here. That means without the presence of the mother, the home cannot be called a home. It can be house. You understand the difference between home and house? House is simply a place where some people are living together. But home is a place where you emotionally feel connected to each other. yes that is why it is the fourth house fourth house is the house of home comfort nourishment happiness peace joy fulfillment content all these words come from the fourth house that is why you will always have fond childhood memories of your father beating you and then you running towards your mother in her lap to hide because what happens when water and fire comes together the fire is extinguished <laughs> which means if you go and hide behind your mother your father will be like okay he has gone leave him <laughs> she is now behind my wife i can't do anything leave it so that is why you be- you become safe that is what is represented by the moon that when you go and you feel very happy inside that is your mother you don't get that comfort everywhere you only get that with your mother and what is venus venus represents your wife venus represents your husband if you are a woman then even with them also see if five girls are living together it is not called a home it's still a house if five men are living together it's still a house it is not home <laughs> but the moment two people a male and a female they live together that becomes a home so that means home the concept of home is incomplete without women because moon venus both represent women so that means if there are no women in your home that means it is not a home actually it's a house as per this definition and that is why celibates and monks they they don't live in a home that is why the place where they stay even though they stay in a ashram it's still called temple they say that we stay in a mandir we stay in a uh, what do you say for that monastery yes it is not called home monks do not have a home do not think that that is their home because for home you need to have either your mother or your wife or at least some sister or somebody if they are not there then it's not exactly a home and on the other side if you reverse it if you go home and your relationship with the mother is not that great then what happens you don't feel like going or even if you go you don't feel that content that happiness you don't feel that that's very unfortunate or if your relationship with your spouse is not good then you don't feel like going there you feel as if i'm dying here <laughs> because the fourth house is supposed to give you happiness so if that house itself gives you misery that becomes the biggest pain of your life that means if your boss is not happy with you he is abusing you or he is torturing you or he is scolding you or he is blasting on you you can still tolerate that i am not saying it doesn't affect you it affects you but still you don't take that very seriously depending on your level of spiritual awakening of course <laughs> i don't mean to say here that you don't take it seriously at all but what i am saying is it doesn't hurt you that much but suppose your relationship with the mother 
or your spouse is not very good then it becomes terrible because moon and venus are the karakas for the fourth house karakas mean significators to the degree moon and venus are well placed to that degree you will have the comfort of home therefore if somebody asks me i want to remain a celibate i don't want to marry i want to follow a particular spiritual path does my astrological chart or birth chart or kundli whatever you call it does my birth chart allow that will i be able to stay like that for that not only venus we also have to analyze the placement of moon because if moon is very prominent in the chart prominent means if it is sitting in kendra then there are chances that see basically when moon is in kendra what it means it simply means that the aspect of motherhood the as- aspect means i am not saying the seventh aspect of moon here i am saying the concept of motherhood the concept of a home the concept of being at a place where you feel at ease is there in your kendra which means it's there in your active life which basically means it's good for you to marry because without that you cannot stay your kendra will not function and these people are also very emotional i have seen moon in the kendra 1 4 7 10 especially in 1 7 axis so it is difficult for them to stay without another person they may feel that need some day and then they have to change their ashram again so apart from venus which is sexuality romance love and all this it is also necessary for us to analyze the position of moon without that we should not suggest the order of celibacy to somebody and on the other side <laughs> which most of the people are on there are hardly any celibates very few who choose to not marry and stay and serve god but for most of the public it is not like that they either get married or they may have relationships multiple relationships or they may be into casual dating etc so on the other hand if a person comes to you and asks you oh my god what should uh, can i get married or should i get married then if i see that moon is not in your kendra or even if it's not there in your trikon also if it is there in houses like 2 3 6 8 11 and 12 especially if moon is in the 6th 8th or 12th or even 3 11 and also they are not very great placements for the moon then if other factors are s- supporting any venus is also spoiled then i would probably suggest the person if the person ask me not not that i will suggest to him that don't get married no i will not say that if he asks me that i have had terrible experiences uh, with women or with the environment of the home in general i am not sure should i go into that then if i see that moon and venus both are not well placed then i would suggest the person better you stay single that only i will do after seeing the whole horoscope if the sixth house is very prominent if venus is also there in a difficult placement and the seventh lord is also difficult if the sixth house and the seventh house are having combinations and if the eighth lord and the twelfth lord are also playing a role in that combination of the 6th 7th and moon is spoiled and venus is also smashed then in extraordinary situations if the person asks me i may suggest that better you don't get married because then what will happen is these sources of emotional happiness will give you misery is it understood and that is why as i said in the beginning that there's a glass of water where you put a drop of ink it spreads very badly that is why when you get 
when you emotionally invest in somebody or you get emotionally connected to somebody it is like you both are in the same water so it becomes very difficult to come out from there and therefore all addictions and all habits also come under water yes addiction means what your mind is basically attached to something which you cannot leave that means it has gone inside the water which simply means that you are not able to pull it out of your system if somebody is a drug addict it is next to impossible unless he takes to some spiritual path that he gives up drug addiction now somebody will write in the comments i know no 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 i have one friend who got freedom from drug addiction you can write whatever you want <laughs> i know how long that person will be able to continue without a uh, spiritual upliftment i am not saying that the person cannot get rid of that without spirituality but to sustain that uh, commitment of not getting back into drugs for eternity that is very difficult i would say next to impossible which i would translate as impossible without spiritual practices because that affects to the core and if you want to change that you have to change the core which you can do only using spirituality so that is why jala tatva is very important now sometimes what happens there are difficult placements for venus for moon or for the seventh house seventh lot well then what we see is at least in the water signs which is pisces cancer and scorpio if there are too many planets in them then also we can suggest them to get married and if somebody has many planets in water signs then for them it is easier to continue the marriage for a long time any relationship because water water has the trait to nourish and sustain relationships so for example if there are three fiery planets suppose sun mars ketu is sitting in the 7th house i'm just giving an example but you have freaking uh, four planets in water signs then i would easily suggest the person yes you can get married because the fire which is there in the 7th house which is what indifference fire is basically indifference malefic in the 7th house is not good why because malefic means either it will be fiery planet or airy planet these two are malefics right fire is sun mars ketu and vayu is saturn rahu so what's the problem with fire fire gives you indifference insensitivity fire tells do whatever you want i will do whatever i want just get lost but relationships don't work like that same is with mars and ketu tremendous anger tremendous frustration violence what's the problem with vayu the problem with vayu in the 7th house is it becomes an excess of desire because 7th house itself is vayu tattva it is libra which is air sign so if saturn is sitting in the 7th house although it is in digbala but what can happen sometimes saturn can saturn has a, a power to deny you things sometimes or delay things or dissatisfaction so then if saturn is in the 7th house i've seen in many cases the person is always hooked up in that thing he's like okay this woman is not giving me happiness maybe some other woman gives me okay maybe somebody else and then you end up nowhere <laughs> and then if rahu is there which is the another uh, airy planet then what happens cheating now somebody will write in the comments that oh i have rahu in the 7th house i have not cheated anybody please understand when i say something i didn't say you will cheat but these are the uh, placements which contribute to certain things if lagna lord is agreeing lagna lord has to agree first of all if lagnesh is not agreeing how will that rahu act in the 7th house or even if you don't cheat you may get cheated 
anyways we will discuss about that some other time but what i am saying here is that's the problem with fire and uh, water uh, sorry fire and air and see fire and air always has the power to extinguish water because see when there is fire you put water then water gets ex- extinguished and what happens when you dry your clothes how the clothes get dried it is basically wind wind is drying that means air has the power to dry the water which means suppose you are in a relationship for a long time and if you get too many desires yes then what happens that existing water within that relationship will waver that will fly off therefore desire is not very conducive for water because it becomes a very tricky situation it's like there's so many desires the mind cannot stay with one person if somebody's sexual urges are not under control then he or she will never be satisfied with one person they will always be running from this person to that person to that person and because of that there will be scandals defamy loss of reputation loss of name loss of fame loss of health you may contract some terrible disease <laughs> so these these are the things which come up when we talk of jala tattva and they are naturally the significators of the fourth house that is why they represent comfort luxury and all this that is why vehicles also come under venus that is why as nicole brenny came to my channel and she said that the moment she has seen that a couple has had a problem in their vehicle they've had a divorce so please take care of your vehicles if there is any dam- damaged furniture in your room throw it out immediately because furnitures also come under venus because it's luxury right so take care of all the luxury items which you have if anything is like not working just throw it so that is jala tattva comfort happiness enjoyment bliss that is the fourth house all right that is it from my side if you have any questions queries or comments then please let me know and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me then the link to my website is there below All right until next time what is the tattva which is remaining we discussed air fire water now is prithvi and we have akash so earth and ether is remaining which is jupiter and mercury which i will do in one shot all right that is it good luck with your watery planets bye bye see you